And today we are talking about those big rain bombs. It's time for the Berardelli bonus. And one of them last night and yesterday across South Florida. I mean, look at this from Miami-Dade County. I mean, so many cars just stranded. The amount of economic damage is going to be immense. And now they have a lot more heavy rain moving through that area. I want to show you the radar from yesterday. It was round after round after round of heavy rain moving through places like Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale, and also in Miami. And so far, over the past couple of days, they picked up as much as 21 inches of rain in Hollywood. Take a look at the radar right now. You can see another around a very heavy rain moving through flash flood warnings in effect for that area and over the past 18 months they are about 60 inches above normal by the way 60 inches is the normal yearly rainfall in Fort Lauderdale so they have a tremendous surplus there now in Sarasota on Tuesday we broke two records here one of them was for the amount of rain we saw in one hour close to four inches that was a new record this right here 8.24 inches in three hours that's a one in 1,000 year rain event so let's talk about a warmer climate and how climate change is contributing here. It's pretty simple. Three degrees Fahrenheit of warming since 1900. For each degree Fahrenheit, it's 4% more atmospheric moisture. In total, 12% more atmospheric moisture is available now for storms. Extreme rain events become more frequent and more intense when you have more moisture in the atmosphere. Uh, specifically, one good example, Hurricane Harvey, climate change made that up to 30%, 38% more wet and caused about $13 billion more damage because of the extra moisture in the atmosphere. In May, you can see all the areas in blue. We have the highest dew points on record ever recorded in the Gulf of Mexico. And you can see that the total column moisture in the month of June has been going up month by month and year by year so that now there's more moisture available for a whole lot more rainfall in some of these events. And adding insult to injury, we've got the record heat over the Gulf increasing that moisture even more. That's right. And so one of the reasons why we wake up to such warm temperatures in the morning is because the Gulf is warming up and our heat index numbers are higher too. So it is a double whammy. If you want to send me a weather question, send it to weather at WFLA.com.